Welcome to the Metal Voice, and here's yeah. another edition of our classic collection episodes going back 30 years. Today, Jimmy, who do we have? Scorpions, love at first thing. Yeah, my name is Klaus Meine, it rhymes with money, and Rudolf Schenker, love at first thing. Released March 27th, 1984. There you go. I remember. Uh, and show the cover one more time there, Alan. So it was a very controversial cover, right? I mean, some would Ooh, say. Look, it's sexy. It's sexy. We well, can't have that. Well, in Walmart, oh, we can't. This have is not the compared to Love Drive. In Walmart, they said that this uh, album cover was risque. Too risque. Oh my so God. what they did is they forced the band to completely cannibal the corpse. cover, and they just put a picture of cannibal a, corpse was not around at that point. That's right. <laughs> so they forced the uh, out the band to put an album cover that had just uh, maybe featured a scorpion I think it was or a scorpion. scorpion, something like that. Okay, Jim, let's get right to the album itself. Okay? The first album that was digitally I'm, there you uh, go produced thirty two track digital digital first album to be digitally clean. Produced. Does it sound clean? Oh my gosh, it's a clean sounding album. There you go. Rock, so we rock got, you like a hurricane, Alan. You know, for myself, they had Blackout, which really, uh, I think, solidified their place here in North America after years and years with Mercury trying to build up uh, with songs like No One Like You. And uh, But for me, that's, that album was a little repetitive. You, know, you give me all I need, you give me all I need. He's dynamite, she's dynamite, they're dynamite. You know, it's like English uh, conjugation there happening, you know. This album, though really solidified their place in the North America scene. They were hard hitters. You had the uh, radio friendly vi videos or, or, or tunes like Rock You Like a Hurricane or Big City Nights, uh, Bad Boys Running Wild. And of course, it finishes, the album finishes with their Cashmere. Dun, dun, dun. Still dun, loving dun, dun. you. I mean, that's we've spoken about that on our Greatest Ballads uh, episode. I mean, Still Loving You to this day is considered one of their classic tracks. Yeah. You know, that was the track, Still Loving You is the one, you know, you waited all night to go grab the prettiest girl at the prom dance and you pulled her, you know, it was a seven minute long song. You can hold her right in there tight. I mean, that was Still Loving You was, was, the, was the song of that was summer. The song. But you also got the deeper tracks, Jim. You got Coming Home, The Same Thrill. A little bit of a reggae thing happening as soon as the good time rolled. Crossfire, another great track. Nuclear war, Alan. Nuclear war. Yep. I'm leaving. <laughs> we are very concerned about nuclear war, so we'll yeah. write a song called yeah. Crossfire. And again, after this was their worldwide live double album. Everybody was releasing double albums. And then it came back with, you know, Crimes of was it, Rhythm, Passion, Passions of Rhythm of Love or something like that. Uh, I mean, it was really it was just a letdown. They really saw the commercial potential of <laughs> Still Loving You, and they followed that direction to the point where Herman Rarebell says, I'm not putting up with this anymore. I'm not going to hang around for this. You guys are on a whole other wavelength of where I want to go. Well, I, Alan, I saw them on tour on the uh, Love at First Sting tour. It was my first time ever seeing the Scorpions, and I have to say that the first time I've seen a heavy metal show where 50% of the audience is women. Jim, I remember I mean, trying to get tickets to that show. I was, uh, you know, buying Blackout and going back and revisiting all their old catalog. I bought Love Drive by that point, Animal Magnetism, who's one of my favorite Scorpion albums, and we back. And I, I show up to get tickets, and all these people are there for for just one or two songs, yeah, you know. Yeah, and that when strange. I started seeing how the the metal scene started to change as well. Uh, we can have a debate all day if scorpions are truly metal. Back in the day, they were considered metal. Uh, but that's where we started to see people weren't getting into the album or the bands themselves. It was more of a track by track. I like that one song. I'll go see them live. Yeah. You sit there dumbfounded for 90% of the, the set until that one track. Strange ended. thing. I got to tell you, when I saw this show, uh, they only focused on the three albums. No, actually the four. Love Drive, Animal Magnetism, which is the Black Mercury out. is Blackout and Love It First Thing. Yeah, which so, is their Mercury. And I was expecting, yeah. you know, I'm a guy who's followed Scorpions from, you know, the, the 70s, right? And I was expecting, you know, maybe In Trance, maybe Robot Man, but no, they only focused on those four albums, I'm assuming, because it was a record label just pushing, you know, it was a different record label from those two different time periods. But overall, amazing show and Klaus Main at his best, and they just, 
the energy that they have on stage is just incredible. Just running I mean, around yeah. nonstop. It's like they all had chocolate bars like well, if we take right before the show. Just, just the Montreal scene, I mean, when they were touring Blackout, they were actually here with Rainbow, who had straight through the eyes. Yeah. Uh, and I think actually Scorpions might have opened for Rainbow, blew them off the stage. Like they you said, their energy the was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, and this album really brought them to that level, again, that they've been fighting for and yeah. struggling over the years. They hit their peak. Uh, I think commercial-wise, maybe they sold more albums with Winds of Change and, and, and that album, The Crazy World. But, I mean, as a metal fan, this was yeah. their peak. Yeah. And everything after this, for a true metal fan, was was a real drop-off. And we yeah. agreed with Herman. Herman left for a reason because we they were you, going Herman. after Herman's that. A German. That on nothing but radio, uh, commercial stuff. And and the fans, the true fans knew. Yes, the ones that tuned in for the one or two yeah. songs, they, they stuck with them. But, again... I mean, look, look at it. They're this still al- around today. It was MTV that launched Rock You Like a Hurricane. I mean, that's where it all that's that's where it all started. It wouldn't stop playing. Heavy rotation of Rock You Like a Hurricane, and what I mean, the album was selling like 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 crazy, right. right? And then you had Still Loving You, the second single, or maybe the third single, and of course, I think Big City Nights was yeah. also another single. So I mean, you just Coming had multiple home. singles, multiple singles, multiple videos, a lot of airplay on the radio, a lot of video rotation. And they were just selling out shows everywhere. And these guys are always on tour. They had and they have been on tour. Even to this day, they're still on tour. They haven't stopped. This is probably not my favorite album. It's my second favorite album probably from that era. But I would say this is a, a you know, overall, it's just a great album. To listen to. It's probably their last heavy metal album yeah. or a melodic heavy metal album. I agree, Jim. I mean, but they, the, the, the track record is there. Go back. Even the deepest track, like the same thrill, that's a heavy song. Yeah. Um, it's a great album. They worked hard to get to there. Yes, they deserve they the success. They had the budget. The yeah, yeah, that's a key thing when you budget. said there, Alan. It's it's they they're just like made it. They built that grassroots. They built such a huge following, and this was sort of they just this is the epitome. They're, they're, that's it. They're epitome. That's where they wanted to always be, and that's where they were. That's right. So go back if you don't have it. Pull out your collection. If you don't have it, go and get it. Scorpions, love it first thing. The album of the year, probably, uh, in many eyes, back in 1984. We're going back 30 years to celebrate this album. Hope you enjoyed the show.